Hi Pisces and welcome to your weeklies uh, for March the 8th to March the 14th I believe so let me go right into it actually let's start with the bottom card the bottom card is like see Tom so here we are seeing that maybe you're shaken up a little bit with your romantic kind of inclinations and you're maybe wondering how to approach it and about things that happen and this is like your proverbial knight in shining armor over here like uh, one of those kitties that is certainly going to get under your skin here kind of you know a little shy a little bit reserved sort of like like lower lowercase version of of let's say romantic potential so let's see why is that and what are basically your inclinations this week so what do we have here in a base well nice we have express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture coupled with the fire king so right so we have uh, something exuberant we have something charismatic um, you're looking for the partner that is somebody who is like really a dream boy or dream girl and you literally want to kind of like want to live this romance that's sort of like you are like in your hearts and this is crossed with passion but in my dreams right so look at this you have a passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy but then at the same time all your passion is like sleeping somewhere and being left alone so sort of like being a little bit worn out well no kidding you guys Pisces you're like I mean a water sign you're all emotion you're not passion you're emotion you're taking us to the depths of that sea of the depth of the ocean you are not burning like fires on top of the mountain so flavors are different and you're saying you know like I mean still water runs deep and sometimes still water has to has to relax a little bit right and I, I guess probably this is what I see like this is the passion this is a passion express your love and like please I need to rest kind of an energy so maybe this is why this is kind of coming like reversed because well you know I'm not so sure where I stand so why do you think that would be what are you bringing from the last week well so a new love a new person has stir steered your romantic feelings but then this is coming coupled with two of C reversed so this is some kind of breakup something that happened or you're releasing some old energies and you are willing to let something new come in so this looks like it's just a brink of entering a new phase of your life or even if you're with the same partner entering a new level but the interesting part here is that your lessons in your past is true love and fire queen so this is that amazing you know person who is charismatic who is sexy who is getting things done like everything but this it's like the opposite of this and it's true love and now in your heart you have basically that king so it looks like that even though you kind of like felt that certain kind of things connected to passion did not work and you left it behind or maybe you left those kind of passionate feelings got tucked away with maybe somebody you had to let go and maybe this is a true love you're letting go but at the same time you still have that fire in your heart look you know it's literally a fire behind it so it, this shows also the couple couple breaking up it shows part of the couple is in in the past and that will explain why you kind of like feel this way you feel on one hand hope on the other hand you want to kind of call and see what's going on like then you maybe wonder if you should reconcile and you're wondering if you should go for someone new it's kind of like that kind of energies so let's see what's the lesson of this week and look you have one you're closing something and the new lesson is funny enough please start something new each other before this doesn't necessarily mean it's the real relationship coming to our life somebody new this can also mean that we are discovering parts of ourselves and this is like again a cup card which is you Pisces which kind of like past appeals to you so much because this is a safe place and you have a soft cushion to fall but also past can mean uh, let's say past life can mean that 
we had some unresolved issues that are coming to the surface and maybe we're finally ready to deal with them and hence you know like I mean all these things are happening for a reason so your lesson and your basically homework for this week is to to kind of like pull yourself out from this this extreme energy that you have going from passionate to kind of like withdrawn and kind of try to ground yourself to what the ground is for you feeling emotionally you know hopeful so what basically will be going on in the future you see again it goes back to release your ex and you're not ready to jump so three of fire so that's a back to that passion look okay like one two three passions right next to each other and it went from true love to express your love to ex release your ex so what the heck is going on Pisces like we'll have to clarify a whole bunch of things here do you want to be with someone you don't want to be with someone because then the cards are telling you please go for something new so how do you really feel right now you feel no kidding you're feeling this way let me stay with something comfortable religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so you're feeling like let's stick with tried and true let's stick to the people that i know and i'm not going to feel that you know i'm pushing myself out of you know my comfort zone and maybe you're just simply too tired to go to the level kind of expanding yourself because the passion was something you experienced and kind of like this fireworks kind of burn you out a little bit and you kind of like collapsed from being yourself to sort of you know i don't know how to deal with this kind of energy and this is coupled with three of earth so even though you want something familiar you're still not willing to commit and build something new you're still kind of like disjointed and you're not on the same page with where you should be so your feelings and environment and how other people see you is they want you to free yourself so you see that that basically person or feeling that you carry with you which you feel is a true love and you feel you were like you were so good and that's really this is the problem you basically are almost in love with how you felt in that relationship it made you feel really good uh, Pisces it doesn't mean it was a good relationship just because you felt good it meant maybe you were on drugs right maybe that person was a drug and it did give you this good feeling but everybody else around you was going oh my god oh my god we need intervention and this is what's happening look this is your environment telling you please free yourself drop that cocaine please now it's time to take back control of your life so they felt coupled with uh, the wheel that this was really not good for you that kind of would cause troubles would kind of like get you to uh, to basically some big changes making some drastic changes in your life that would not be good for you and so your feelings are very changeable about that and this is I guess why we are showing going up and down uh, a big drastic things and this must be really hard on your Pisces if you're feeling this way because you just kind of are not able to stabilize and this is the lesson this week please stabilize so fears and hopes while you do hope for the romantic feelings and it says your feelings are real and worth exploring at the same time you are sky queen reversed so <laughs> you're telling people peace of your mind and like you are really not being sweet and kind the way you are romantic things it would be like sort of like high octave of the worst of you basically telling things to people and you you pretty much got burned so badly for you guys to do something like that and this is why maybe you go for between these two extremes you go from this high passion and then when you burn out you become kind of a little bitchy and then you kind of just clump up and you don't want to talk to anyone close yourself in a bedroom and hope for the whole world to leave you alone but the end of the week is good let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally you're actually realizing that you know what you cannot make big drastic changes you can literally start looking inside of yourself and start looking into how you perceive things 
and be hopeful and you got stars it's not a star it's stars a kitty dreaming to be a lion right so look at how much control this kitty would have to have to try to pretend and convince other that she's a lion but instead she's just hopeful and this is basically this card let go of the control issues right you don't have to have this ghost and you don't have to have pretension you just have to be you Mind you, this is also a card of wireless communication, so internet dating, um, kind of like text messages, modern communications, and connecting with people sort of in real time. So this is kind of like where you actually live dreams. And that sometimes can get you Pisces in trouble because when you don't communicate face-to-face -face or like even Skype, which is sort of a face-to-face -face, but it is in 2D, you you can romanticize the partner and you can interpret things the way you want to hear them said and that kind of like gets us all in trouble from time to time okay so let's clarify a few things i want to clarify these religious factors and three of earth reversed i want to see what is behind your feelings about yourself to feel that way so let's see that we have jumper and jumper and more for prices. Okay, so we have frivolity, we have thought, and we have we have journey. I'm not so sure if frivolity was reversed or not. Um, but thought and journey reversed. So the reason behind that is like you're still thinking about the situation. So frivolity is like neither here nor there. It's kind of like emphasizing the cards after anyway. So this is the card of indecision here. And this is a card of indecision. So this is a card of teamwork where upright you'll be working together to kind of get to this goal and get this bug. And now this way you're wondering like i mean can i snatch the bag away from somebody else sort of a thing because i just want it for my group right you see i just want to for the group of the orange cats or for the group of siamese cats i really don't want like anybody else but my let's say religious group here but at the same time you are luring you're lured by something that is different because look you're you're setting guys on something else something in the distance so you are aware this is sort of a shelter for you and it's a temporary shelter where you're like currently here to basically get through all these emotions and i want to see what is this about new love new love for pisces what is this new love and this breakup together oops i had a whole bunch of cards popping up here so we have priest reversed we have young woman we have gift and we have bambino or child reversed so, new love. Well, you see, priest this way, upright, and the baby this, this way, upright, would be good news. That would mean something getting official, getting ahead. Instead, they have this two of C flavor, right? But this young woman and gift, they have this new love flavor where you know like i mean there is somebody looking ahead woman or a man who kind of like is read, ready to give something and the gift could be like look i'm emotionally getting ready uh but it's like sort of like twofold thing closing one part and starting a new part here so didn't really clarify much other than just reconfirming this she thanks sarah and i want to see this this uh, queen of sky reverse because that's important for you to kind of keep a reputation because telling too much in that fashion is not going to get you very far anywhere so i want to clarify that but i really like how your week is ending with the stars really lovely it's my favorite card in the entire deck okay so let's see queen of sky please tell us tell us about those things for Pisces. We have thief reversed, we have death reversed, and we have servant. <laughs> That's right. 
You guys, you are doing this because you are so upset about something that has happened to you. You feel somebody took a piece of mind. You feel somebody killed something inside of you. You're really, really um, upset and you're actually very sad. And the way you deal with sadness is like with anger. And that's why these two cards are mixed up. Romantic feelings, the Sky Queen, because one is like very Pisces energy, another one is like really kind of like turbulent energy. And here it tells you basically to kind of kill those urges and kind of like do something that serves you better. So Pisces, I hope you enjoy your weeklies. And please check the monthlies as well. And... I'll check in you with you next week. Until then, I love you and take care.